Right, this doesn't technically class as technology. Today we need to fix this. This is one of the boat trailers that uh, the wheel bearings were bad on and the owners just left it here. I've been tasked with fixing it. And then we've got to pull a boat up. It just sat over there. It's about time it came out of the water. So, not technically a technical video or electronics, but it's a job that he's doing nonetheless. Right, so we may as well do a quick unboxing of what we've got. got a piece of plate. Wheels. Not these any good? Ellie tyre. It's a wheel. It'll do. Another wheel. Lots of grease. And a lot of nuts and bolts. Multi-purpose grease. To summarise, we've got a bag of nuts and bolts, which I'm guessing they're nuts and bolts that are supposed to hold it to the trailer, which is quite handy. They are. Just bright zinc plate, not stainless or anything. So, pot of Granville multi purpose grease, wheel bearings, joints, blah blah blah. Let's have a look. If we can get the lid off without getting covered in it. Yeah, it's just your average smelly, smelly grease. Comes with one of them things for putting your paintbrush in, which probably isn't going to help us today. Nonetheless, let's see now. Over some of this. Well, one of the actual suspension units. So I've got the, wow. <laughs> it's made by Knot. But the build quality is horrible. <laughs> Look at these holes. They're not even drilled all the way through. The spatter. That's beautiful, that is. They seem relatively solid. So yeah, one of them, got the nut and the split pin. Put that aside. Should we put that on the bench? Need that. Uh, another suspension unit. With the same amount of spatter everywhere. Real nice, shiny, this is plated. And another plate. Yeah, hubs for the wheels with the nuts. Marvellous. Let's uh, get ready to assemble all this together. Right, so we made it onto the workbench. So, quickly uh, clean the place up a bit. We've got something nice to work. There we go. So, hub. Wrap it in more. Plugging film or shrink wrap. It's annoying. So, in our little bag, and here is the cup covering. Oh, that's your roller bearings. We've already pressed all the insides in. Uh, a tiny little tapered roller bearing. Pretty small. The other one's obviously here, with its environmental seal on the back. So, and the race is already pressed in. So yeah, tiny little bearings for a, quite a big trailer, but which is what it is. It's the right correct size rating. So what we need to do is pack these bearings with grease. Slide one in, snug them up. So let's get on and do that. And to get both of them out there. I'm going to pull this one apart. Front bearing, back bearing, front bearing, back bearing. Easy. All this apart. There we go. So, first job. Hold the sleeves up. I wonder if I can unbutton them and do it that way. Or I might take my jumper off. Because this is going to get really messy. Deal with the cold for a minute. Because what we need to do is pack the grease in 
and where we're going to pack it in. Oh, maybe you, so I can actually see the screen. What we've actually got to do is get the grease inside, so it's actually inside the bearing, not smother the outside. We want to get it in that gap. It's pretty straightforward. It's easy with a grease gun, but we're going to be doing it with a pot of grease because that's what came with it, and that's what I show you. So it's impenetrable for fortress of a nip. Now, if I can get this off, yes, it's a piece of rag, just in case, not my kind of jumper, out there, I'm going to get some rag ready, because I'm going to need it to clean it off my hands in a minute, so all we're going to do is get absolutely covered in it, I'm going to zoom you in a bit first, that is my centre of the image, so if I'm working here you can see yeah, I'm just going to take that There's probably enough grease there to pack the whole entire lot of them All we've got to do is start folding the grease in You do that a bit at a time to get it in there and What that is doing is getting it inside the bearing Now you just need to keep going up right, until it Job for somebody else, isn't it? And then we just get rolled around and make sure we've got it loads of grease into it. One. So that'd probably be enough grease, but it won't, because you'd be surprised how much of it actually goes into the bearing. As I'm packing it in the front, sorry, you're all here. As I pack it in the front, I can see it pushing out the back. It lets me know she's got lots of grease in her. She, yeah, it's going well. Two. A big wallop of grease. Right, now I've got most of the grease off my hands. I know I'm just getting greasy again, but it's nice just to get back to normal. Uh, we're going to put a bit on here because I want this rusting, even though it probably will at some point in his life. And the shaft, like so. Back bearing. Go on. Like so. Like that. Not the hub. What we do is lock this full of grease. So, that's now sat on there quite nicely. And what I'm going to try and do pack that entire area there for full. Because the less grease I have to pump in, the better. One finger at a time. They do have a grease nipple built onto them. Just there. I can zoom you in. Try and get you to turn without getting the camera completely covered in grease. anything out, washer, under nut, grease off my hands, or maybe get that one nipped up a bit, I did doubt thinking there must be something else to that but there isn't, uh, grease off one hand, 
set this aside. Yeah, the other one. Same spot. Same again, bit of grease. Probably be enough to start with. So I'm going to grease it back. Front bearing in. Down she goes. And wash car and a knot. Right, clean the hands off. Perfect. Right, I'll get out our 24 mil spanner. Everything covered in grease. People tell me I use too much grease. You can never use too much grease. Snug it up a bit. That's too tight because we can't it can barely move. Saying that, that's a pretty good fit actually. But we want to be sure. So we snug it up, make sure it's the bearings have seated correctly. This will probably be reaching the point where it's too tight now. So, what I do is get it from the hole, which is about there. I've got a feeling it's got to go a bit further than that, yeah. Do it just from the cock to there. Right, still spin. It does. It's a bit too tight, in my opinion. Prematurely wear the bearings out. So I'm going to go back to there. Right there. Make some keys away from the greasy spanner. There's no slot and it's good. So, the pin goes. I'm going to try and make my life slightly easier at this point. I'm just going to wipe away the excess grease so I don't really want covering all my tools. You can go in the fucking bucket. Yeah, we just need to get our little split pin through now. This isn't really a very exciting video today, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's not every day I've got loads of broken stuff to fix. And this is a pain job, so. Get our split pin facing this way. Just because this way I don't want to face. Try and send it for a bit more. If it will. Yeah, that does. There. Okay, I want the grease off the end so I can actually see it. There it is. And split the pin. Good, put my split going. I'm going to take that slight large place. Put a bit of it around there, like so. Okay, nicely. Like that. That'll do good grand. Right, so that's one done. But what we're going to do now is make sure we've got plenty of grease in it. Changing colour and flavour of grease to red cherry. I think this is red in here, it might be red or black, I don't know, one of the two. The battery. Pause for a minute while I find a battery. Right. So I've got a Milwaukee grease gun and a Makita battery. There you go. <laughs> How's that work? <laughs> 
so you can see it over here. Grease nipples handily on the side, like so. And go. The um, observant among you will notice that my grease gun isn't disconnected. <laughs> it's making a mess. And it also appear that I'm using black top grease today. Just going to uh, clean up the mess a bit. Not going to lose the nuts. Ugh. What I was trying to avoid is dropping the nuts in the grease because I don't want greasy nuts. I might actually end up putting a new grease gun end on today just as a bonus for this video. Unless it was just me holding, holding it at the wrong angle, possibly. I'll try again. Okay. Grease nipple is that way. Looking good. Plenty of grease. Let's do the other one. Get out our lump hammer. Ready. Steady. <laughs> Me putting away the big hammer and it doesn't fit nicely. Don't go on crooked. Straight. Yay! <laughs> Doesn't fit very well. <laughs> really? This is <laughs> <it's> useless. <laughs> to fit in there. That's stupid. So you've got a slight dimensional issue on the caps. Slacking this advertising nut. Bang on 50. 50 now. Cap is <laughs> 51.6 That ain't never gonna fit <sighs> Right, so we have to come up with another idea Hmm Reckon we could Grind the leading edge of this down, maybe cut a couple of slots into it or something, I don't know Hmm, I'm going to have a think. If the electric come in. Got some reliefs into it now. If anyone um, knows what I'm doing wrong here, then uh, shout. <laughs> I think it's going to carry on. Hooray! Drop it in. Yeah, it's bearing roll, James. You can't just hold on to them. I'm going to cut this one. Do the same thing. Keep my sleep. The pre packed it so it doesn't need that any, really any grease. Lid on. Let's go put them on the trailer. Alright. We can't go out yet. I'd almost forgotten. Uh, need to drill these holes out because they uh, Now they are drilled them, and when they galvanise this, it's built, built the hole up. Or something along those lines. So what have they gone for? 8.5 or 9? So yeah, 
0.5 do. Drill some battery off the grease gun, which is also in grease. Everything's now getting slowly covered in grease. That's not a drill. That is a drill. Guess what? I've got the jet ski out in the water. <laughs> it's not, not properly out, but it's out. Right, so I'm lazy. I was going to drag it all the way from over there, but I brought the van over here. So, sure. what I need to do is get it lifted up on some blocks so I can work on it and go from there. So, sure. we do that first. keen-eyed among you may notice that my blocks may actually be 25 litre drums but we'll ignore that so first things first we need to get these old the old units off could have just got the bearings and everything but I mean I don't know what condition they're in one wheel did fall off which is this side I imagine yes so I don't know right. Spray them out. Oh, ready to play for trailer gobs. And they're going to move. Yeah. That wasn't at all rusty. <laughs> well, we asked it nicely with the little one. Uh, there'll be less, uh, less noise to it. Yeah, marvellous. I'm very tired of this trailer now. I've noticed it's getting dark. <laughs> it's not an illusion, this is exactly what is happening. Washers. Nets are sided. One side's got a flat, the other side's got a dome. The dome goes into the wheel. You make good. Could you see that? See what I mean? This side, the edges are domed on. There's the other side, they're flat. This needs to go into the wheel because the other side of the domes are actually on the wheel here.
rubbing on the ground. Meh, no to do. B side. <coughs> Right, unfortunately, losing light a bit too quickly now. So I'm not going to drag the boats out today. But the trailer's here. I'm just going to hide it a bit more out of the way so we can it because we're behind a lot of gate. But there she is. So that's me it for today. The next clip you will see is the next day. Right, what a lovely day we've got today compared to yesterday. Uh, I've got my bucket ready, trailer's in the water, attached to the Jaguar slash tractor, hopefully it will pull it out. Yeah, we're going to go over there and have a look at the boat yesterday, and the reason I've got a bucket is because the boat's full of water. Hopefully it'll start and we can just drive it around straight on the trailer, but see how we go. Here we are, right, I'm going to start bailing it out now. Found the fuel.
You're going to sit there nicely for a minute. still at the moment so I'm gonna try and get her straight to the trailer she's over there I'll put you down for a minute while I try and do this right she's this far but she's still in gear So the next question is, is this the Jaguar going to have enough steam to pull that out of the water? I'm not convinced it will. It's quite heavy. Oh, did it? Really struggled last time I tried to pull anything out with it. I think the orange boat. Right, so what we do, make sure we are zoomed out. I look down here and find where the plug is. It's down there, look. Um, maybe not. Is there another plug? Can you see another plug? Thought that would have been the one. There ain't nothing in there. Not a lot anyway. Hmm. There must be another plug in it. Oh, I was to do some investigation. So, you guys might even have actually seen that. Such an idiot. Down here. There's the plug. Then the heart comes out. Oh, there we are. There she goes. Now we're draining. I'll put the other plug back in for the time being. So let all the water and gunk out of it. 
Might even leave that one out just so over the winter it doesn't fill up water. Been that deep, even the blooming lift motor's been underwater. Oh well, it's not my boat, I wouldn't have uh, left my boat in this condition. Never mind, trailer's worked well. She's got her out and we're going to park her somewhere over there. That would make more room. So, that pretty much concludes that little video saga of fixing the trailer and getting the boat out. Jobs are good. See you next time.